Hey kids, morning. Today, we're gonna install a beehive. It's for mason bees. Mason bees pollinate 100 times better than honeybees. They're a non-stinging bee, seeing as how I'm allergic to bees, that's kind of a good thing. So, I'm out here at the garden, and I'll give you a quick one, two, three. Love y'all, have a great day. So here we are out at our garden. Of course, the only one that's here is our two-year-old artichoke, Artemis. Artemis, say hi. What, not even a wave? He's camera shy. So anyway, you're supposed to put it under an overhang. So I've got a little bit of an overhang right here. I'm going to put it up at this corner. And here's the hive that we got. The reason for the blue tape is I've got three rose quartz hearts that are currently drying on the hive with my ever-present shoe goo. Here's my little, I should say our little, Lebowski Bee Nursery. So inside there, there are 20 cocoons that we just put in there. They've got a rose quartz heart in there too. And they will be taped up next to the hive that I'm about to install. Measure placement, measure placement, market, market. Uh huh. First try. Nurse. Nursery installation tape complete. Nursery and hive installation complete. And that's how you set up for mason bees. Now you can go out and go to your local farm and ranch store. They come in little boxes of 10. They're $1.50 each, which is nothing when you're considering the fact that they pollinate 100 times better than your average honeybee, number one. Number two, they are a non-stinging bee. The males have a little white spot on their nose. The males live much shorter than the females. And then in the fall, in well, in the late summer, in August, you pull out all the little tubes out of the hive and you split them and you go through and you pull out all the little cocooned babies. What we're also gonna do is we gotta put a pot right here underneath the hive and we got to put some wet moist dirt because what they do is they gather mud as they're laying their larva and they pack them in so they'll lay a little baby in a larva inside and then they'll use mud to, to make a little chamber for it and then they'll do another one another one and then when you pull the tubes out there'll be four or five new larvae in each tube and then you take apart the tubes, split them in half, you pull out the larva, and then you put them in the nursery box, and you put the nursery box in the back of your fridge until mid-April. And in mid-April, you pull out the nursery box, you put it back on your hive, and when the temperature reaches a consistent lowest temperature of 57 degrees, that's when they reemerge and come out to pollinate your garden and your flowers and all your stuff that needs pollinating. I'm so happy. We sang the bee song, but we didn't record the bumblebee nursery ha uh, planting song. It was so awesome. So there you go. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day.